the future of Kaiapoi Red Zones is in the hands of the public. This visionarium allows people from the community to share their ideas for its future. The interactive displays give the public a chance to learn about what's happening in their backyard by overseeing a satellite view of the area to this interactive display and even photo and video booth. I think it's marvellous. I've never seen it from the air before. It's lovely, you know, so you can't tell what it's like walking around, but when you see it like this, it's, it's really good. As part of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority's Canvas campaign, developed to hear the public's view on what should become of Kaipui's red zones. There's no age limit here. A forest then go cut track. No. These students from Kaipui North School weighing in on its future. And what do you guys want to see in the red zone? Um, I would like to see like a track for bikers or like an adventure playground where you can just go and do stuff. Almost four years since the September earthquake devastated many Kaipui properties. David Ayres, the Waimakadiri District Mayor, is pleased to see progress. What has been a long time coming, it doesn't hasn't removed our impatience, I guess, but it's, uh, uh, it's great to have it underway now. The Waimakadiri District, District has five, five separate, separate red zones, zones in the, in the area. area. The biggest area is this northeast Kaipui area. And, uh, and some of the fringe areas have, have suffered some flooding because, partly because they've dropped as a result of the earthquake. Which means the plans for what will happen in each red zone will differ from one another. You know, Kauraki and Pines Beach are two sort of um, beachfront rural communities. Um, and you know, they, they have different characteristics to, to Kaipui, different characteristics to, to Christchurch. Of the 1,048 red zone homes, 36 decided against accepting the Crown's offer. Over half of those still living within the Kairaki red zone. It presents different issues for different parts of our, our area and uh, we'll certainly work all, with those people as, as, as neighbours. The Visionarium will be in Kaipui for the next few weeks, with the Canvas campaign ending in mid-September. Emma Cropper, CTV News.